Do you remember rollover minutes? The, I had to look it up. The year was 2002, and the company was Singular Wireless. Singular was spelled with a C, Singular Wireless. And uh, by the way, this is an extended metaphor for Holista Plan we're about to go into, but I'll bring it home. You'll hear about the Holista Plan policy change, but bear with me. But okay, it, the year is 2002. Cell phones were pretty new at that point. And so the way it worked is we would pay a subscription, a monthly, or I guess it was a monthly subscription. And that, that subscription gave us access to features, the network, a phone number, caller ID, voicemail. That's probably it, actually. That's probably all we had. But the, the cell phone companies, they had to find some way to meter how much we were using those services. We, they, they couldn't allow us at that time to all drop our landlines and just go all straight to cell phones the way we've kind of done in the interim years. So what they did was they would meter our usage. They would have you buy like 200 minutes, talk minutes per month, right? And the way it worked was if you used fewer than 200 minutes per month, you just paid your monthly fee. But if you went over 200, you would have to pay like a little more per minute. Um, and if you went over month after month after month, you'd probably make the decision to move up a plan size, right? And that works fine, but it's kind of annoying, especially if you're kind of bouncing around the edge of your plan size because of that asymmetry, right? If I go one minute over my plan size, uh, I have to pay. But if I'm one minute under or two or five minutes under, I'm not paying any less, right? And so what Singular, and you know, we understood at the time, like I'm paying for more than just minutes. They had pay as you go plans. Like we were paying for a fully bundled uh, experience, fully bundled product, but still that minutes thing was there. It didn't feel good. And so Singular came up with rollover minutes. And so if you didn't use all of your minutes in a given month, so let's say, it was a 200 minute plan and I use 195, I've got five that I roll over into next month and I have 205 to use. And if I recall correctly, it only rolled a month. Like you couldn't like build this huge pile of minutes from years ago that you're just piling up. So uh, if you figured out the extended metaphor, that's what we're gonna do on the list of plan side. Actually, we've already done that. So actually we put the code in place on January 13th of 2023. And so anybody who has had their plan renew since then, we've already started applying rollover usage. I don't know, roll, we won't call them roll, rollover minutes, rollover usage. Um, and the way, way it's gonna work is we're gonna allow you to roll forward up to 20% of the size of your plan. So let's do the math real quick. So if you're, if you're on a 75 uploads plan size and you use 70 uploads, well then you can roll five into the next year. So you'll start out with 80, so 75 plus five. If you, let's say you only use 50 out of your 75. Well, we're actually gonna cap that, the amount you can roll forward is capped at 20% of the 75. So that's 15 uploads. So you'd start the next year with 75 plus 15. So you'd start with 90 uploads for the following year. And, um, Again, kind of like what I was saying with the cell phones, they don't roll forever. You're not building this pile of minutes or of, of usage that's gonna last forever. It rolls to the next year. Uh, why did we do this? I honestly don't have like a major good or bad reason for it. I just feel like it's a thing we should do. Um, it feels good to, I don't know, it felt good when you got rollover minutes 20 years ago and I think it's gonna feel right to have rollover usage in this case. Um, we're, we're trying to get the conversation more about is holistic plan being valuable to your company and less about, about, you know, I was three uploads up or three uploads down. So I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping it's a popular choice with our subscribers. I have no idea if it's going to be good business or bad for holistic plan. I could see it going both ways. I think on the plus side, there may have been people who, you know, let's say they hit their, their limit for their plan. And rather than upgrade, they're like, ah, I only need a handful more, so I won't bother upgrading. I'll just wait till my renewal because I don't, if I'm only using five out of the 25 at the next level or whatever. But maybe now they'll upgrade because they don't kind of burn those extras they've added because they can roll to the next year. So that'd be the positive case. On the negative case, though, like that same person, if they're bumping against their limit, but they have rollover minutes 
from last year, well, it's just going to be that much farther before they hit a limit where they have to upgrade. So it could kind of go either way. But again, I think as long as you do what you feel is the right thing, then in general, things work out. But we'll just see. Like, how did it work out for Singular, right? What's that? Sing singular no longer exists. They don't, they don't exist at all. Oh, dear. Rollover usage now available to all Holista Plan renewing subscribers.